Yeah, yeah. I'll <laughs> add it to the pile of weird stuff. Yeah, yeah. Let's swap this one. Saa tehty siitä te floating puzzle pieces. The gold door is red. No. Interesting. <laughs> oh god, no. Blue and green makes red. Combine with blue makes green. Which means... We need... Blue and green here. I thought I did that. We need to think about this. We need... I think this might work out. No, that's too blue. We need green there, so it's red and blue. There we go. So red and blue makes green, plus blue makes red. So every time we add blue, it switches between. It makes red, green, red, green, red. Yes. Alternating. We add the same color over and over again. Uh, that one took a shortcut. Door is out. This side. I've been playing around with this machine that absorbs the particle clouds. As far as I can tell, it uses the energy of the particles to build giant tetrominoes? Excuse me? It's another puzzle. Collect enough energy, build a bridge, access the tower. I think. What is this? A theme park? Maybe it's an experiment. A rat maze. It seems like an echo of the simulation. Not a deliberate recreation, but built around the same core principles. Let's not jump to conclusions, though. What's Thank clear God is principles. that this place was meant to be explored. So let's do that. The sequel. <laughs> the end for is here. Yeah. Just makes sense. Number wise, one and two are done. They're collecting triangles in stars. Bye. Hey, 1K, what's up? <laughs> I don't know if there's much to tell. I'm not that interesting. I'm just a member of the scavenging team. Well, senior member. Lead scavenger, I guess. 
there's not that many of us left, to be honest, and Garrus doesn't get along with the mayor. What else? Uh, I have a cat named Bruce. I like old music. Oh, okay. Um, I have a collection of antique bottles. I think that's it. Ah, good. I'll scavenge, sir. I've always That's loved exploration, seeing new places, that feeling that you're the first person to set foot somewhere after all this time. But you know, it, it's, it's not even that. It's just seeing new things. The world is full of remarkable sights and experiencing them changes you. It's not the same as just reading about it. Exactly. Every time I go on another mission, I find something that surprises me, that extends my horizons in ways I couldn't have anticipated. The world is so much bigger than we are. It contains things that we can't even imagine. And if we limit ourselves to our own minds, we'll never grow. It might be this. Although there was an expedition to a superconductor storage facility up north, incredibly well preserved, but the logistics were an absolute nightmare. Now that I think about it, there might be some of that in you. Our ancestors built some pretty amazing things. Huge cities, factories, mines, monuments to their history, but nothing quite like this, no. Time. He's five years old, half goofball, half psychopath, loves sticking his head into things, chews cables, pees on electrical stuff. Melville banned him from her workshop, but he loves visiting her and peeing on her equipment. Okay. I just find it fascinating that these fragile objects have survived for so long. Plus, they're Kind of pretty. Yeah, they come in all different shapes and sizes. Oh no, please. No puzzles. <laughs> I'm so bad at puzzles. I barely got out of the booting process. Elohim thought I might be defective. <laughs> and still you're so human. No need to be a different kind of cleric. <laughs> Not for the that. Like where all iterations of each other kind of out. That again I feel like it to end soon. Do a little bit more. These are the easy puzzles still. Is there a hangar here? No. Three. Of course, three with it, one and two. And that's another way here. And all other base there. Not a computer. Then no. Some earth stones and the whole other place there. I mean, probably some text for Whether it is true that Daedalus constructed the giant Talos, or as others say, he was the creation of Hephaestus, what we may be certain of is that he was made of bronze and had but one vein within which flowed a liquid substance like blood, which some claim was quicksilver, and others assert was ichor, such as flows in the veins of the gods. The loss of that liquid caused him to die, 
as a man dies when he loses his blood. May we not then say that Talos, though created as a machine or a toy, had all the essential properties of a man. He moved of his own volition, he spoke and could be spoken to, had wishes and desires. Indeed, in the tale of the Argonauts, that was the cause of his downfall. Hmm. If then a machine may have all the properties of a man, and act as a man while driven only by the ingenious plan of its construction and the interaction of its materials according to the principles of nature, then does it not follow that man may also be seen as a machine? This contradicts all the schools of metaphysics. metaphysics. Yet even the most faithful philosopher cannot live without his blood. Yeah, we're getting complicated here. Everything okay? Me? Well, uh, I was born when New Jerusalem was a lot smaller than it is now. And there was a lot of work to do. I wasn't really interested in technical stuff, engineering and so on, but I was good at keeping things organized. So I got involved with the administration side of things. Uh, making sure the scavenging teams focused on the right materials, uh, keeping track of our energy usage, that sort of thing. Yeah. I think we've accomplished what the founder wanted us to, and I'm proud that I helped make that happen. Byron doesn't see it that way, obviously, but I think sometimes he gets so lost in his dreams that he forgets to look at the real world. Mm. Of course. My best friend, in fact. And oh, someone cool. I've worked with hundreds of times over the centuries. A good person who cares about the world and the people in it. I just also think he's wrong about everything and extremely annoying. <laughs> the founder taught us that we must never lose track of other people's humanity even if they disagree with us yeah we're all in this together even if we can't always see eye to eye especially when there's only thousands of us thousands of you thousand of you i don't know it's obviously impressive but i think we should be very careful we're dealing with powers we don't really understand. I think the only reason to build a lab in so remote a location is because you're trying to hide what you're doing or because what you're doing is dangerous. Both are good ideas. <laughs> Dangerous. But... Hmm. Maybe they just did it here because there's a lot of space. <laughs> and they wanted to build something huge. And there's probably a lot of materials around. I don't know. Well, puzzles or... Uh... Trials, as Elohim calls them, were used as part of the process that created the Founder, and they're still part of how we're born. They symbolize the human ability to understand the world and solve problems. But nowadays, they don't have a practical application. Uh, they are a common motif in the arts, though. Mm. The only physically existing puzzles I can think of are in the Museum of the Simulation. I so, to answer your question, no idea. Yeah, they're... Yeah, they're... Good minute. Take the easier part if possible. Probably by hand back around. Is this a pasta? Someone had one I designed this place and I really like this tool like them. Talist style and the uh, nature overclaiming 
it is some of my favorite teams. Van Passalvar. Team to the corridors. And also maybe get me the red thing. If you remember. Castling RPG Conventor. I wonder if they will go as far as they went last time with some of this. Yeah, this doesn't like move things, it's a different kind of connector. We get green from that. But only when placed here, so. Blue one. And for red one we need red green, red, green, so it's blue. That emits blue, that emits red. Next screen, and I can see it on my hand too, actually. Very helpful. But we need red. Red. <laughs> red is either or only blue and green. Louis there. Yeah, where is blue? Tokens, and we can solve things with that. Looks That's like Prometheus has given us a way to circumvent some of these puzzles. So each puzzle has a Backdoor. <laughs> I guess the mythological Prometheus was kind of a trickster, so that tracks. A trickster, yes, but kind of funny. In case we do get stuck and maybe we do. Red. Oh, we got this, we just need to. Perhaps connect who? This way, maybe? I'm standing in the bay. That's from color. I can also stand on this and make it more freedom that way. But I need to be able to access there too. How do I feel like I'm being tricked? I'm missing something. Double check there's nothing here. So this is hidden. And with just one more connector we need red.
perhaps blue and green it comes out here so it's connected this is connect these three that's it so understanding this yeah we got the two creams to make red red blue red it's hard to think about but kind of works Maybe the triangles we find are those tokens. Keep solving these, 1K. Let's see where it leads. Are you sure we want to enter the weird portal in the center? Or maybe yeah, it builds a stepron in more sense. Makes us a prince. I ran the samples I collected so far. The soil sample results are in line with what would be expected in this type of environment. The samples from the above ground structures, though, I tried dating them, but the results just don't make sense. None of the typical molecular markers are present. These walls could have been made 10,000 years ago or yesterday. I could try to estimate an age based on erosion and plant growth, but I'm not sure that would make sense given how weird everything else is. Good work, Yakut. Keep at it. There's the thing. It is Ure. A spark. Oh my tears, spark. Don't I? It's shallow. I might. Next one is four and this way. But I think with that we've played in up again. There's a person there coming to talk to us, so I guess we'll wait for that next time. Dear tenant, goodbye. Interesting game so far.